Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if you're new to Canva or new to print-on-demand and would like to see some useful tips and tricks, be sure to stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're not gonna be creating a design, but I'm gonna be showing you how you can upload your own fonts onto Canva that you can use in different designs. Now Canva has a lot of fonts already for you to choose from, but if you're looking for something specific and they don't have it, no worries, you can always upload your own. And I am gonna be showing you right now this website here, Creative Fabrica, you've probably heard of it. Um, it does cost money if you want a membership. It can be very cheap or very expensive, but what you need to know is that they also have freebies, a lot, a lot of freebies. So you can create your own free account and then download freebies. And there's a lot of text and things that you can get without having to spend any money at all. So when we're on their website here, you can choose from fonts, graphics, crafts, needlework. There's all sorts of really cool things that you can look at. There's also what's called freebies. And so from freebies, you can go to free fonts, uh, free SVGs, free graphics, free embroidery, free classes. And so there's a lot of really fun things that you can look at and upgrade or sorry, download without any money. So as I scroll down, you can see most popular freebies and you can see a lot of different fonts up here. So if you find any of these fonts that you particularly like, no worries, you can get it for free and that's always cool. And so some of these are, are very different. So like this one here, it's got the little hearts in it. So that's a different style. You probably won't see one like this on Canva. So if you had a design and you were like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. No problem, we can download it for free. Um, there's also a deal going on um, and it, it, it can vary time to time. But right now, as in like today, I think, you can get a week's trial um, for just one dollar. So for one dollar, you can try out um, you can try out uh, Creative Fabrica and get access to everything for a dollar. After that week, I do think they charge you the monthly fee, which is I think nineteen dollars a month if you want access to everything. Now that's great if you're not a designer and you want to be able to download designs and just sort of change them up a little bit. Um, so that's, that's definitely an easy way to go. I know a lot of people do that. If you're just looking to get some free fonts or free graphics, no worries, that's easy too. So right here, I'm on my Always Amora font. I can go ahead and hit download. You can see right here, it says commercial usage allowed. Everything on here has commercial usage, which means that, oh, here's the pop-up unlock all contents for $1. And so you can see they've got what it says, 103,000 premium fonts for $1. You can try it out. If you don't wanna try it out, no problem. I'm just gonna click maybe later. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and I've downloaded it. And so I have it down here in a zip folder. Now I can always go back up and look at more fonts. So I can go back to free fonts and I can keep looking. So I can, you know, just keep scrolling and any font that I want, I can just go ahead and download it. Once I have everything that I want downloaded, then I can go ahead and upload it to Canva. So every so often I'll go on here and I'll just look through what they have available. This is a really cool one for Halloween. So they've definitely got some great um, holiday ones. And you can see these are all free and it says 98 pages plus. So there are still what 3000 free fonts that you can choose from out of their 100 and something thousand. So you can see that's still a ton of free ones that you can use. But as you can see, as I'm scrolling down, there's just, there's just a lot of cool, different, unique fonts. So if you see anything that you really like, or you think, oh, I've got the perfect design for that, or I'm looking for something for a holiday, or here's a piratey one, you know, you can find almost any font you want here. And so that is one of the really uh, cool, unique things about this, that they have just a lot of just these really cool um, fonts that you won't find anywhere else. Not that Canva doesn't already have a ton of fonts because they do, but there's just, there's so many out there that you can always find more. And they definitely have a, a bunch of like Christmassy fonts and they have a bunch of Halloweeny fonts. And so if you're looking for something again, specific for a holiday or something. There's just so many really cool ones that you can do. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and jump back onto Canva and I'm gonna show you how we can um, upload the font, okay? So I'm gonna come over here onto Canva. And from Canva, what you can do is you can go down to where it says brand. And once you're on your brand, you can put right here where it says brand fonts. Here is where you can upload a font. So if you were to click upload font, you can pull up your downloads and then you can go ahead and just upload the font that you just downloaded. Usually a box will come up where it says, please confirm the following and you have to acknowledge that you have the right to use this. Again, everything uh, from Creative Fabrica you, you can use. So you can go ahead and put yes, upload away. And so you click upload away and it will start to upload that font for you. And it'll just take a second. And so then you can just repeat this process with every font that you have uploaded and it'll upload it. So here it is. It is now in my brand fonts along with a huge list of other fonts that you can see that I have uploaded. These are all from Creative Fabrica that I have uploaded and use on Canva now. So some of these I have used a lot. Some of them I really haven't used at all, but there is just a ton. So you can see I've probably got a few hundred fonts that I have uploaded from Creative Fabrica all for free and that I now use in my Canva designs. And so I can keep scrolling. You can see I got a whole bunch of them that I got for free from Creative Fabrica that I have uploaded. Now, if you wanna see how these are used, no problem if I come up to my created design and I'm just gonna create any design, I'll go ahead and click just a blank background here. I'm gonna pull up a text box by hitting T on my keyboard. And now what you can see is I can come up to my fonts and it'll show you recently used fonts. And then as we scroll down at the very top, you'll have all of your uploaded fonts. So now I've got all of the fonts that I have uploaded. So these aren't the ones that were originally in Canva. These are all the ones that I have uploaded. This is the one that we just uploaded from Creative Fabrica. So if I stretch it out so you can see right there, I'll just go ahead and do something like that. So it's nice and big. This way you can see, I know it just says your paragraph text, but there you go. So this is the font that we just downloaded from Creative Fabrica that we can now use in Canva for free. You can do the same process again with different images too. So you can also go ahead and upload graphics from Creative Fabrica. So that's just one more, um, you know, one more uh, area where you can get some, some pre-made stuff or some extra um, fonts. There's also a few other websites where you can get graphics from. Um, for a while, I had subscribed to All American Graphics and I had subscribed to um, Sunset, Sunset. I can't even remember the name of it. Same people that do All American Graphics have a Sunset one. And initially I had subscribed to both of those for a year. Um, and I did use them, but I really didn't get a lot of sales from them. And then once I learned how to create my own sunsets in Canva, I no longer needed to pay to download sunsets because Canva already has a bunch of pre-made sunsets already. And then I can always make my own. So there was really no reason for me to continue to use some of those other um, other websites that are out there, but there are a ton where if you're not a good designer or you don't know how to do stuff, you can always download other things and use them. But I just wanted to show you the text part because there are always a lot of different texts that you can upload and free is free. We all love free. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to them. Again, if you have any, um, any videos that you would like me to do or topics you'd like me to cover, again, you can drop those in the comment section below and I'll try to get to them as quickly as I can. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.